Boom, what's up everybody? My name is Kim Skogwell and today we'll be taking a look at the Affinity Photo Raw Converter. It's a really great tool to start your rough edits uh, where you start off your image to get it the way you want later on in the photo persona. Uh, it's not quite up there with Adobe Photoshop uh, or Adobe Raw Converter yet. It's missing a couple of tools, but once it gets those tools, and I'm hoping they do real soon, uh, it will be just as good, if not better. I would like to say that I think personally the uh, HDR stitching and the focus merge is better than the Adobe uh, RAW converter. So there's pretty much not, not a whole lot to it. We're just gonna jump in, have a look at it, see what the difference tools does. And this is the beginning, the entry 101 into RAW converter in Affinity Photo. If you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button and, and that bell button and leave your comments down below if you liked it or not. And if you want to see a different tutorial on different stuff. And let's just jump right in. So once you open up your raw file, you're gonna get into the developer persona. Affinity Photo has five different personas. You got the developer persona, you got your photo persona, liquify persona, tone mapping persona, and then the export persona. In the raw converter, we got some tools on the left hand side here, and that's the move tool, hand tool. You got your zoom tool, and red eye tool, you got your blemish removal tool, you got your overlay paint tool, your overlay erase tool, your overlay gradient tool, crop tool, and then white balance tool. On the right hand side here, we have up top, we got a histogram, we got a scope, we got a location. If you have a geolocation on your camera or tagging, it will come up here where you took it. And we got some metadata files or tabs. Below here we have the adjustment tab. So we got the basic tab, the lens tab, the details tab, the tones tab, and the overlay tab. And at the bottom here we have navigator tab, we got the history tab, we got the snapshot tabs, we got info tab. See so it gives us color combination. And on the left here we have or you can enable 32-bit preview HDR. So we're just going to keep it in navigation here. <clears throat> Control O to zoom out again or make the picture fit the, uh, the window here. So we're going to stick to the, these tabs here and under basics to lighten up this picture on the subject here and hopefully drag down a little bit of the highlights in the background and up the shadows in the front. We're gonna just start taking the exposure up a little bit until Anubis gets uh, into view. We're gonna click here if it's not clicked. So we're gonna click on shadows there, highlights. And this is gonna be zeroed out. So you wanna just go down to the left with your highlights so you can see it takes down the highlights in the back there and we can bump up the shadows just a little bit and you can see it kind of becomes matte but we're gonna fix that now we want to go and make your color profile or upper profile I like pro photo RGB that's the highest uh, tonal range you can work with and now we have things here we can open up the vibrance just a little bit as you can see if you move it a lot grass becomes greener becomes less green and then you have the saturation which does just more extreme so you want to keep the saturation to whatever you find appropriate under lens here we're gonna click uh, lens profile distortion you can see what that does and then we're gonna click here chromatic aberrations there isn't any on this one and lens vignette removal you see it just lightens up the corners here then we're going to go into details don't have to do anything here you have noise reduction you can play around with that see what it does but here on the tones here is where you get a very powerful tool you have the market 
and then you're just gonna bump up the highlights a little bit and drag down the shadows here it makes it a little bit more contrasty and you can see you can clearly see Anubis now it looks great you can see before and after and then we have the overlays we're gonna drag down a little bit of this here so overlays is gonna take advantage of these three things you have the gradient map tool the brush tool and then the garbage can so we're gonna click the gradient tool and you're just gonna do sort of like that I'm gonna put that up there and now we can go back here to the basics tool and we're gonna find shadows and highlights and then we're gonna just remove it back just ever so slightly there that looks much better and see that just affected that area and there you go that's how the Raw Converter tool in Affinity Photo or the Develop Persona works. You have some extra buttons up top here. You rarely use them in the Develop Persona for just initial uh, color grading.